Hey guys, on today's video, I'm going to teach you how to import your pictures and videos from your iPhone, iPad, or Touch to your computer. So first of all, right here, we're in the latest Mac OS. All right. Now this applies to every OS, but I want to show you guys in the latest OS how you do it. Anyways, what we have to do is go to your Photos app. So this is my Photos app down here below, so you can see it. Now, if you guys don't have it there, don't worry about it. Go into your Spotlight search. So right up here. You guys are going to see this, so click on it. Then we can just type in photos. So you guys are going to see this application popping up. So just click on it to open it up. Once we have it opened up and you have your iPhone, iPad, or touch connected to your computer using your USB cable, you guys should see devices right here on the left hand side. We will see devices. Now, whether you guys have an iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad, it's gonna pop out here, okay? So just let it load for a second, click on it. It should be highlighted like you guys see. And then we're gonna see all our pictures. So they might not load up right away. Um, your iPhone, iPod, iPod Touch might ask you to open it up, all right? So you guys might have to click on the home button or just wake it up, okay? I know you don't all have home buttons, don't worry about it. Just make it wake up, all right? Face recognition, just go into your phone and make it load up if you guys want Safari. Load up anything on your phone, all right? That way it's awake and your computer will recognize it, all right? So make sure to do that. Then you guys should see slowly some videos and photos popping up. Now, right now they have all loaded up. They loaded up kind of fast today just because I preloaded them. Now, normally it would take about, for this amount of videos to load up, it'll take about 20 seconds, even 30 seconds, if so. Um, in the past, photos were slow, so it would take maybe around two to five minutes to load up. Now it's quite fast. So, the next thing we have to do is select the one. So, you, if you guys just want to select one, just click on one, all right? Just have a check mark on it, and then just up here, you guys can just click on import selected and that's it now you guys may want to import all all right so just unclick this so just click on it again to unclick and then up here in the right hand side you guys will see import all items all right so i actually i'm not actually gonna do that but i want to make sure everything gets imported because it does say import all new items and i'm not sure if it's gonna recognize all actually all all and not just all the new ones now technically again it's supposed to just show me the new ones so that's supposed to be correct however i'm gonna click on all of them to click on all of them i'll have to press this command a on my keyboard it's gonna select all of them okay so that's select all command a or you guys can just go into edit select all okay anyways once you guys have everything selected now, I want to delete them off my iPhone, iPad, or touch once they're imported, right? So right here on the top right-hand side, you guys can put a check mark here in order to clear up space on your iPhone, iPad, or touch. Um, if you guys want to keep them on your device, then don't click on there, okay? Don't have that check mark so they stay on your device. But I always like to keep my device clean. That way I have more space and I never run out of space. So just click on right there. Then we're gonna click, that's right, import all new items. Now they all have been selected, we're all good to go. Just import. Now like I mentioned before, this was really slow. Photos used to take forever, especially to import that amount of pictures. It would take forever. However, now iPhotos, which is photos, is really really fast okay so for this amount of videos which was a lot as you guys could see it won't take me more than maybe 10 minutes 10 minutes would be like the maximum i'm guessing but in reality it's not gonna be more than five minutes anyways once i do that you guys can export anything so i'm gonna teach you how to export something out so right now they're loading up as you guys can see they're loading up one by one slowly and that's the way it's supposed to go. And you guys are supposed to see the circle on the top left hand side. See the circle right here? You guys can click on it and see your progress. So it's saying that it's importing right now. Whoops. 29 out of 700 items. All right. So as you guys can see, 
It's a lot of videos and it's importing them at a pretty good rate. So this number is supposed to go slowly. Again, if there were large videos like 30 minute videos and hour videos, this will be a bit of slower process, but they're really short clips. So that's why they're importing pretty fast. So that's how you guys can see the progress. Once I, let's say, I imported them, I want to export them into my computer or transfer them, maybe email them or something like that. I always recommend actually taking them out of photos. So I'm going to click something older. No, not right now. So let's just click on this. What you guys can do is right up here where it says file. You guys will go into export and always export unmodified. So a lot of people have asked me that uh, the time or even the, the GPS coordinates and everything doesn't get exported correctly. Well, that's because most of you are exporting this. All right, not the original way, but this as one video. So what you guys want to do is do this, unmodified. Unmodified will keep everything from your video, okay? It's kind of like exporting the raw file, but kind of, kind of, because it's already been transformed. So it's not really raw, but it's keeping everything from your file original. So you guys would click there and right up here, you guys can choose whatever you want. You guys can choose your, your file name, use title, whatever you guys want, do it that way. I always just leave it as use file name, okay? Uh, subfolder, well, that's up to you guys again. You guys can choose that. And then just click on export. It's gonna export. And it's gonna export the same way that it's importing. Right now I can't really export this because I wanna screw up my importation. So I'm gonna cancel that out. However, you guys would click there. And then again, you guys could see up here a process when you're exporting. So it's gonna be the same circle. It's gonna be a bar, okay? And this could be really fast for you guys. Or if it's an hour long video, for example, it could take a little bit. Anyways, that's it for this video tutorial. If you guys have any questions, comments, you can write them down here in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you. And make sure to check out our new channel where you guys can see this trip that we took to Egypt, plus a bunch of DIY projects that we publish on that new channel. So the link you guys will see right after, right after this is kind of done. You guys will see our Do It Do It channel.